The biggest fault I see in the short game, again, is tension. I see people trying to lift the ball on the follow through from a low takeaway. And the reason that the takeaway, the club staying low to the ground, is the tension in the hands and the grip does not cause the wrists to break and we don't get the club lifting the club head lifting on the backswing so my thoughts are that the hands are so important we must soften the hands up and we must get the cocking of the wrists as the arms take away now this will make the plane of the swing a lot better as well and what i mean by the plane of the swing is the angle that the shaft is lying too many people swing that club head under plane on the short game and as you see this fence that we've got next to the golf club is very useful because most people would hit into the fence on the backswing thus keeping that club head very low and trying to scoop the ball up on the follow through. From the setup, you can see that my shoulders are fairly parallel to the ground and I, I want the player to be conscious of 55% of the weight being on the left thigh here because that's where we're going. We're turning through with the right shoulder and the weight's going on to the left side so that we can compress the golf ball. And I'm going to show you a little drill that's helped me and my pupils, we should be able to make proper short game, proper chip shots I should say, with this fence in the way of me and the ball. The club's set properly there, that's the, that's the plane of the shaft, and if you relax your wrists, when you swing back to waist height, your hand should break in order to lift the club head up on the way back. Okay, the butt of the club stays nice and low as the hands lift the club on the way back. 55% of my weight's on the left side and my left foot's a quarter turn in the direction of the target. I'm aiming for the umbrella here. The club face is square to the umbrella and I'm standing parallel to the ball to target line. The fence is also good because it keeps your alignment in check. The shoulders, hips and knees are all parallel to the ball to target line. So let me demonstrate this. Back we go and through we go.